This is Everton Michener. I've been painting for over 35 years. And as stage three solo exhibitions. One at the Mutual Gallery and the other two by the Pegasus Gallery. And numerous group shows. So Behind me now is a few of my works. Most of these works are more inspirational works and the inspirational works is, is more attached or connected to my Rastafari faith. So I hope um, the, the, the art lovers, the collectors will enjoy these colors as it were meant to soothe the nerves and probably take you out of the box so i hope you will enjoy the viewing what i'm going to do now is give you an introduction of a, of the individual pieces that i consider close to my heart and i hope you will enjoy it just as much as I did in executing them. The title of this painting is Four Season Love. And the, the, the flower spot will really represent the Old Testament. And the, the four leaves will represent the New Testament. 
which which would be the f- the first four books of the New Testament, and each leaf represent a season, and it, you know it's four seasons. So that is what this painting is about: four seasons. Like the, the title of this piece is "I Blow Breath." When we say "I," we really talking about his imperial majesty and this is the, the principle of the Rastafari faith as you can see the eye which is I so to speak <laughs> which represent the eye <laughs> and you see a nostril you see a nose uh, and uh, a couple each nostril represent a couple and there you can see that the the African continent which is really the lady as you would say Mama Africa and the most I is the link between Africa and the continent which is Jamaica as you can see so our father take us back to the motherland the title of this piece is known as emancipating the mind and the mind starts with the head now the head the eye in the head really represent the penal gland which we refer to as the third eye the spiritual eye and you see the chains the the, the the chains around the head signifies the, the mind being liberated and the colors would would represent the sun and now we, we make the connection with the continent that's we see eye to eye Ethiopia the eye represent Ethiopia and Ethiopia is about Selassie eye or his imperial majesty emperor Ayla Selassie eye. so when you reach to the top the mind you see the bird with the wings spread wide apart representing the, the, the freedom of the mind so basically this is what this is about mental slavery, freeing free the mind. And we use our father to free our mind. The title of this piece is Rastafari. Rastafari means head creator. And the source behind it is from the scriptures as well. He shall be like a tree which is planted by the rivers of water that bring it fruit in due season so as you notice the roots Selassie is the root of the tree and we who praise him are the fruit of the tree now if you notice the colors which are of the rainbow that the rainbow from the head to the tree is really connected to your mold to the tree and that is all our source of inspiration travel so if you notice the Sun Selassie is the Sun And you have the colors of the rainbow around the sun which is our connection to the tree so that would be like the umbilical cord and as you can clearly see a representative of the human race black white indian chinese 
the human race in general. So when you see the colors over the head, the colors also represent the proportion of the chemical element that makes up the human body. So when we actually see the rainbow, we are seeing our bodies. Because each color represents an element. I could brief you on the colors as to the proportion of the chemical element that makes up the human body. Now, oxygen, 65%. That would be the red. And the carbon would be 18%. That would be orange. And the hydrogen would be 10%. Which would be yellow. The nitrogen would be 3%. And that would be green. Calcium would be 1.5% and that would be the light blue and you have phosphorus which would be one and a half percent which is dark blue then you have other elements which would be one percent which equals to purple so you see red has the longest wavelength and purple which is number seven of the shortest yes on the seventh day he rested color purple represent the seventh day the shortest wavelength in the rainbow spectrum as you can see the herb leaf it's actually a herb tree and that is where we get our source of inspiration Yes, when we burn the herb or use it in whatever form. Yeah, Moses did smoke herb. The burning bush. The title of this piece is Born Again. And when we say Born Again, we are talking about the regenerative element of creation. In, in the Holy Bible, it is said, three wise men, three wise men saw the star and know it is the birth of Christ. So, we see in the star there, which is a representative of the Ethiopian coat of arms. Now, the, the, this, this is the Egyptian hank. Almost want to look like a cross. And on the cross, or the hank, is the female reproductive organs. That's why we say, born again. As it was said, can a woman go, can a person go back to his mother womb to be born again? Now we have the flags of various countries. You have the Roman flag. You have the British flag. You have the Russian flag. And you have the American flag. But the regenerative energy, the born again energy, is with the conquering lion. As you know, Jamaica is the capital for the culture base, and the culture base governs the four corners of the earth. And Jamaica has the number one culture. The Rastafari culture. Born again, the regenerative element of creation. 
the title of this piece is Delta 9 Plus. The levitated image is a symbiosis of the Jamaica National Anthem and the Jamaica National Pledge. The, the head represents the Jamaica National Anthem and the pineapple at the top really represent the pineal gland of the male and the snake as you can see which is one arm of the man feeding from the pineal gland now when you look to the next arm you see a snake and again feeding from another pineal gland which is of the female and this female pineal gland our body so to speak represent Jamaica national pledge and it is all about Rasta culture and the headquarters of Rasta culture. The National Pledge also says we, we are supposed to advance the human race and that is what our culture is doing, the Rastafari culture. That's what our culture is about, advancing the human race with the teachings of his imperial majesty the title of this piece is light of the world and all light emanate from his imperial majesty and the, the light of the world it the, the the colors reflect the light and it is a you can see that the the rainbow colors are also there which is it, it transmit it receive and it complements so you know again when you see the the colors of the rainbow it really represent the proportions of the chemical elements that make up the human body and if you notice your newspaper you will see some little square colors you will see you will see black you will see red and you will see yellow and all those colors makes make up the newspaper so when you see the color of the rainbow you're actually seeing the chemical element that makes up the human body and i and i says all light emanate from his imperial majesty rasta culture the title of this piece is psalms 45 and psalms 45 is about rastafari in persecution trusted in his imperial majesty emperor Haile Selassie, and this why we name this psalms 45 we are talking about the carol garden crisis with rastafara so this piece is basically about carol garden atrocity when they try to kill out rasta and rasta culture so what we have here is is a rasta man as you can see giving thanks and praises to his imperial majesty and you would call this sacred the sacred herb which is ganja better known and as you know when we are going to light our chalice we usually chant a psalms 
in the name of his imperial majesty conquering lion and as you know herb ganja marijuana is the super substantial bread of rastafari and for the human race in general you have just gotten a synopsis of my special pieces now i would sincerely hope you find them interesting and would probably like to own a piece or two on prints that is so in that case i can be contacted at 409 67 87 